All right, so I'm working on the passenger side, and we talked about putting in the patch panel on this on the back, bottom side of the quarter panel. And as I looked at it a little harder, I saw this piece, and this is the bottom section of the outer wheelhouse. And I didn't like the fact that, of course, it was rotted, but I didn't have another panel, and I decided, well, I'll just make one. Now. I have pictures of this on my Facebook page, Joe Daddy's Garage, and all I did was take and build this piece by piece. You know, it's almost impossible to, to form that curve and this flat section and then a secondary flat section which would go against this panel. So if you can see my welds, there's three pieces here. I made the curve part first, and I made this flange here, and then I made this flange. And I will attach that, and that'll take care of fixing that outer wheelhouse. Now, the second part of this is I, I took all the bondo off of this thing, and there was a good bit on here, and I can see where there's you know dents and dings, and that's that's trivial. Uh, that those are very minor and can be easily fixed. Now I was provided with this patch panel. Now typically. You know, you'll have different vendors that supply these panels, and uh, the owner had bought this, and with good intent. This this is a decent, you know, material. It's nice and thick. Um, it's advertised as being a patch panel. And again, I'm a bit anal. People have noted this, and I'm going to say yes, I agree. I don't like this panel, and there's a couple reasons I don't like this panel. Number one, it is actually kind of an overlay panel. This isn't truly designed to fit. Uh, into the existing quarter panel. This is meant to go kind of over top of things and that's why the, the shape here is kind of dull. Uh, it's a little bit oversized as far as this shape goes. They end up making it really long on the flange that goes to the wheelhouse and I'm going to show you here in just a second. Uh, I don't like that curve but let me show you the comparison to this. Now this is a quarter skin. I just picked this up this morning. I uh, went to Mustangs Unlimited and you can see an obvious difference. There's a slot here that is preset for uh, the rear filler panel or roll pan that goes between the quarters below uh, the trunk pan opening let's say. So that slot is designed to hold the little bolt that uh, or to, I should say that that's designed to take the little bolt off of that pan and then be bolted from the inside. And you see it has a recess here. Nice, correct shape. This has none of that. This is just a flat surface. Come to the bottom and you've got the factory, what I'll assume or say are drain holes, uh, built right into this nice crease and this nice solid crease here. And you look at this one and there's nothing. There's no holes, and it's just kind of a blah shape. So you can see the difference, obviously, at least I hope you can, between these two panels. So with that said, I'm going to not use this piece, and I'm going to section off of this skin a big chunk, and then I'll, and I'll, of course, shape it down or cut it down to make it fit into this opening. Another problem I had was the way this is just shaped back here in this corner where this one just is kind of round, oversized, and I just didn't like that. So I know I'm a bit picky, but that's how you make a quality uh, restoration. Well, I'm making some more progress. I have my little patch welded in on the bottom of the wheelhouse. And so I've done uh, the mock work that I'm going to do for my new and improved quarter panel patch. And I've got it prepped with weld through primer. And again on the contact areas as well, we're just going to get welded. So hopefully I can get this on and at least somewhat welded on tonight. My wife's making supper, and I'm getting hungry. So 
So I'm making progress. I'm getting this uh, patch tacked on. And I am doing a butt weld. And I just want to say, it's, it's at this stage, or I guess this type of thing, where I get the most gratification. You know, car, cutting it apart, fitting pieces, putting it back together, and making things fit is just to me the most rewarding part of this and and making it fit right i'm so happy really and i'm not trying to pat myself on the back here i'm just trying to say this this makes me the most satisfied when i do this stuff is having a panel that fits just about perfect and uh that's what i strive for that's what i try to make happen with everything that i work on but it's just it's just you know just saying, moments like this don't always uh, come about, but I am very excited about how this little panel is fitting. I mean, that's, you know, may seem strange, but to me, this is uh, the best part of doing stuff like this. Okay, so I've made some progress. That panel is fully welded in place, and it's just going to take a little bit of filler to smooth that up. I also, uh, blend it on the inside and once I'm done with that a little bit of undercoating and it blend right in so now I'm working on the tail panel I know I, I talked about earlier I didn't like the way this gap uh, was was wrong in comparison to this piece and I talked about reshaping this and I think that would be a lot of work that may not be very beneficial I think it'll be simpler I take this piece and I narrow it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a line right here pinch this in find the width that I need to make this fit and then I'll weld that back together it'll be a simple transition from this uh, hump right here and it'll blend right in I think that's a simpler fix and it'll look cleaner because I won't have to fight with reshaping this um, along with that I'll have to do some prep work on the rest of the pan uh, or a panel. Um, let me take this loose to show you on the Dynacorn trunk pan it has these holes which the screws go through to hold the rear valance panel and this new panel obviously doesn't have them so what I've done is I've drawn hash marks on the holes on the Dynacorn panel and then I replicated those out here so I will drill a hole off I'll take a measurement and measure up off the Dynacorn pan and I will drill holes uh, that line up with those screw holes and then I'll take my step drill and step them up a little bit so that I have clearance I'll also have holes drilled between these for my spot welds and then I will you know prep my uh, panel so I can weld around this taillight opening and then, uh, let me just show you this as well. This is a black panel. And if you'll notice, the screw holes line up perfectly. So this will be just right whenever I get everything in place. Um, that's about it, that, that part of it. So let me make some progress on that and try to get this thing moving.